Come and rescue me. Take me out to eat. Take me out the market. Take me out the group chat. I'm trying to hit your ass. I'm trying to eat your butt, girl. Come. They gonna let me for my ambition. Shout out to everybody out there in the world. This is Sound from Club Ambition. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. This is Club Ambition Reactions. I usually react inside of my car. I sold the car. So I'm bringing you a reaction inside of our Club Ambition Studios. This is our podcast studio room within our studio. This is where we do our podcast that drops every Tuesday, Cap, a.k.a. Club Ambition Podcast. We go viral all the time on TikTok. Make sure to check out our TikToks. DM me if you want any promo for your music. You want me to react to your music? We have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Club Ambition. If you want to watch this full reaction, unedited, the long extended version, the song fully with no skips, Patreon.com forward slash Club Ambition. DM me. It's a vibe if you want to promote any of your songs. Drake, Kim Kardashian, Kanye West. Let's listen to the song. The cover art now, people are saying it's Kim Kardashian. Because think about it. So Drake has a song that he created, and it samples Kim Kardashian. And in promoting the song, the cover art also has a photo of someone that looks like Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian posted a photo of her motorcycling a couple days ago. So this is Drake, in my opinion, subliminally sending a shot at Kanye saying, hey, I sampled your girl and now I quote unquote got your girl. I don't think him and Kim are dating. It's a possibility, but I doubt it. Similar helmet, not the same helmet. Maybe this place has multiple helmets. I doubt it. I think this is a Kim lookalike, and Drake is just trolling Kanye West. So why is Drake still trolling Kanye West? I sampled your girl, your ex-wife, and now I also sampled her as a person. I have a clone that looks like her as a cover art. Why? I think it's petty. I think it's very petty, but Drake knows how to keep the people talking. So maybe that's his objective. He's just trying to get the people talking. I reacted to the leak of the song. Now I'm going to react to the full official version right now. Search and Rescue. Used to be called Rescue Me. Some people called it Mommy. Let's listen to the official version of the song out right now. I need someone to be patient with me. They don't even need to be as famous as me. But deep down I think about you all day, Mommy. I just want to take you on a holiday, Mommy. Come and rescue me. Take me off the market. To you, the more you play this song, the more this shit slaps. Am I bugging? The other day, people were like, it's mid. I heard the leak, it was mid. I'm like, damn, it might be mid. It's all right. The mastered final version right now, it's sounding better. I know I'm a pit bull, but dolly, mommy, come and rescue me. Come and rescue me. I'm trying to hit the group chat and tell them it's all. Be happy. This is the Kim Kardashian sample. For those of you out there, I don't know where the sample's from. My husband moves from state to state, and then I realized, like, no, I didn't come this far just to come this far and not be happy. Drake sampled this. And right now, you can't even argue, it seems like Kim Kardashian cleared the sample. Kim Kardashian cleared the sample. Or someone at E! News, is that a sample you need, you need to clear? Or can you just do that... This Drake, so maybe he doesn't care if he gets hit with a lawsuit. I guarantee he's going to get hit with a lawsuit or a cease and desist, and that's going to be a part of the rollout now. He's going to add more fuel to the fire. Drake is a genius when it comes to marketing tactics. He doesn't need to do any tactics. He just needs to be himself petty. Petty, petty Drake. This is so confusing. The song is pretty hard, though. Don't know how to express my love. And the thing is, is he's describing a perfect woman. Like, he needs a wife, almost independent woman someone that can take care of him as well he's describing kim kardashian no he's not but you can connect the dots like is he trying to describe kim kardashian like what are you trying to say like if i'm kanye west kanye west right now needs to be on suicide watch someone needs to call him make sure he's okay kanye west is gonna go on a crazy spree posting things within 24 hours i guarantee and if he doesn't then that's a lot of growth American Express. Tell me what to do. Okay. Tell me what to do. Okay. I give you the world, but there's 
other planets too. Take me off the Drake's new song. Is this a hit? You let me know if this song is a hit. Brand new Drake song. Take me off the map. Don't hit me up in WID me, baby, baby. Damn. Damn. Now we talking. Damn. Now we talking. Listen, I, I need someone to be patient with me. Take me out the trap. My overall review of the song was that that gave me the vibe of this is a Drake Lucy throwaway that he put out, but it gives a potential of a hit. This can grow. This can be like a big TikTok song, TikTok dance song. And it seems like effortless. It didn't seem like he put much effort into it. There's not much content. There's not much, like, um, effort. It just felt like a natural, maybe throwaway, Lucy. But this might be a smash. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, the more you replay it, I feel that this has replay value. If you replay this more, I think it can grow to become something. The production is really good. Production is really good. Shout out to Binks. Um, I think a couple of these producers also on this song, I think, are, like, from the Yachty Camp Concrete Boys. So shout out to Little Yachty. Drake's being in closer with Little Yachty, so he's been tapping into that sound more. What do you guys think? Is this one of the best Drake songs of all time? Is it one of the worst Drake songs of all time? All time? I don't know. I'm getting the vibe where I kind of felt about I'm upset. When I'm upset came and it felt like, damn, Drake's not going in. Like he's it's like effortless. Like he's like, come and rescue me. Take me out to eat. Cause this this song sounds like it's good, but Drake might have recorded this half asleep. Come and rescue me. Take me out to eat. Take me out the market. Take me out the group chat. I'm trying to hit your ass. I'm trying to eat your butt, girl. Come and rescue me. Like, it sounds like he's not putting no effort. But it sounds good at the same time. <laughs> the boy is back. He's never left. He's always around. The boy's always going to be around. Honestly, never mind. You hated it. It had some good songs on it. Her loss. You can't say shit about that album, really. Now, new album, maybe? Is this a single for a new album? What the fuck is going on? Is this a Scary Hours? No explanation from Drake. Just a song. Let's see what it does. You don't like it? It's fine. Are they going to trash this like horribly? They don't. They can't. I don't think this is at, at worst. This is mediocre. At worst. Comment down below. How do you guys feel about the new Drake song? Rescue and search. Search and rescue. Kanye, Kim. I don't know why he did that. I think that was intentional to just add promo to the song. You know what I'm saying? There's probably going to be no music video to this. Unless Kanye... Knows what we something that we don't know is Drake dating Kim right now. Kim is single, Drake is single. Kanye is the only one in a relationship. Kanye is married. Drake dating Kim Kardashian is not out of the realm of possibilities. But why would Drake do this as a vendetta to Kanye? Why isn't Drake sending shots at Pusha T? Why is he still teasing the Kanye West beef? Why? <laughs> 